Hello and welcome to TPM's 3 Minute Thursday. Today I want to talk about a few very nice enhancements in SOLIDWORKS 2017 at the assembly level. First off I want to point out over here in the feature tree look how much junk we have in the tree here that you know, a lot of us really don't need. Default, default, appearance, display, say. How many times have we seen this and it just gets in the way? Well, Now you can turn it all off. So if you right click up at the very top your feature tree, tree display, got a nice option here. It's a mouthful, but do not show config display state names if only one exists. So if it's default, default, just remove them and now only those that you actually create will be shown there. Very nice tool to clean up your feature tree and a, and a clean feature tree is always nice to have. Next I want to point out something called breadcrumbs. Now these have been around for a couple versions. I uh, never really got used to them myself, but after this version I really like them. Uh, if I select a part here, you'll notice the breadcrumbs pop up uh, up at the top left. Now if you hit D key on your keyboard, we can now bring those breadcrumbs down to your cursor. And by doing so, I now have access to uh, the reference planes as well as any other uh, made information, uh, any rebuild errors that may be showing here. Those will all show up right here. So I can now select a plane and then go quickly mate like we normally would. Also, uh, something that's been around for quite a long time is assembly visualization. And SOLIDWORKS has added a little bit to it. So uh, assembly visualization hasn't changed a whole lot, but what they've done is allowed you to now pull in the open time. So if you notice right below it, you have rebuild time. So we can now add rebuild time and open time and find out well what parts are eating up my rebuild time and what parts are eating up my open time and by doing so I can now find well why is my assembly taking longer to open why is my assembly taking longer to rebuild and be able to investigate without having to do a whole lot of extra work so it's just a couple little enhancements for assembly uh, work in SOLIDWORKS 2017 since it's now available, we hope you download it and begin work with it. Thank you very much.